we have here is an external CD-ROM drive. Very typical of the early 1990s. This is a Panasonic, but Sony made them as well. During the dawn of the multimedia era, there were a variety of methods of getting CD-ROM data to your laptop. And um, one of them happened to be by purchasing an external drive, but many people would link their laptops to their desktops with a program like LapLink or through Ethernet connections. Some would even use serial connections, which was slow as hell. Um, but one of the more popular options was purchasing a rather expensive external CD-ROM drive. Um, they came in two flavors, essentially. You had your... Um, you, because there was no USB bus or Firewire then, so you had to use either your laptop's built-in SCSI uh, adapter, if you had a Macintosh like we have here, or if you had a Windows machine, you could use a PCM CIA card version, uh, which actually was an ATA bus, which used a proprietary ATA cable to connect to the drive. And those were also quite popular, mainly in the Windows or PC side of the world. So what we have to demonstrate for you today is a 4X CD-ROM drive made by Panasonic, and I believe this one is actually from 1996. So Now this particular drive would have been very expensive, um, several hundred dollars perhaps, and was actually battery powered. It actually has a battery pack, which I have here to show you. Uh, the battery pack is no good, it needs to be rebuilt, and because it uses um, standard cells, I should be able to have this rebuilt at my local batteries plus. But we don't need that battery functionality, so we have it plugged into an AC plug, and everything is installed. I have the original driver disk right here. And I've already installed it. So that does not have to be done. And we're going to demonstrate it by installing Doom. Doom 2, to be exact. I believe my machine, uh, my PowerBook 180, uh, meets the bare minimum requirements. So let's give it a shot. So we've already got the drive turned on. I've opened it up like that. And the disk simply sets into the spindle like so. Green and red, I can't get the lighting on there. Now, you could actually power this off the battery pack and use it as a portable audio CD player. If you want to. And it mounted right on our desktop. Now it's going to install. Now at 4x speed, it's not going to run very fast. Um, it's going to take some time. And we're done.
I guess I can't run this. Maybe I can. Give it a try. Any day now. Grr. install everything. And I think we're done finally. Okay, here we go. It didn't say finished, but it stopped, so let's see what happens. Oh, maybe it has to be restarted. All right, looks like we're not going to have doom time on this machine, um, but we have other machines that are capable of running doom. We do know the CD-ROM drive works, at least that's been proven, but 
unfortunately, that's pretty much <laughs> the long and short of it. Oh well. Okay guys, well that's pretty much it for the day. Um, have a good time with that. The Panasonic 4X external SCSI drive everyone.